Hello and welcome to Rubik's WCA North American Championship 2022. I'm one of your casters, Keaton Ellis, and I'm here with Dana Yee here in beautiful Toronto, Canada for the start of day two of this competition. Over the next three days, 500 competitors will duke it out for the inaugural title of North American Champion. We'll be showcasing the top talent across 17 events with a variety of skill sets. Bring you the action live. We'll be the team behind Cubing at Home with another set of uh, supposedly highly talented casters to keep you up to date on the most recent action. We'll be, give, we'll be giving away $5 gift cards to thecubicle.com throughout the entire three-day stream, so make sure to stay tuned throughout. Along with the live stream, we'll also be having an at-home competition, so you can get in on the action and compete for the title of Cubing at Home North American Champion. You can access this online competition by visiting cubingathome.com slash NAC2022 or by using exclamation point compete down in chat. This is the first time we've held a competition in almost a year. We're excited to be aligning with the first major in-person competition in three years. We hope you enjoy this format. Before we begin, it is important for us to recognize the traditional territory of the indig indigenous peoples who have called this land home for thousands of years. We acknowledge that the land we are meeting on today is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat people, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Metis people. We also acknowledge that this city, which is now colonially known as Toronto, is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. We'd also like to thank our live stream sponsor, thecubicle.com. TheCubicle.com is a leading USA-based online specialty cube store committed to providing customers with a superior online shopping experience, exciting puzzle variety, and an in innovative cubing experience. The Cubicle operates in New York and has served thousands of puzzles, and has served thousands of puzzle fans from beginners to world champions. Additionally, we'd like to take this time to thank our title sponsor, Rubik's, the World Cube Association, and finally, Speed Cubing Canada for their organization and support for putting this competition on. It's been more than three years in the making, and we are very impressed with the competition so far. With that said, we are now going to be transitioning over to uh, 4x4, which is the first event of today. We'll be showcasing some of the top competitors throughout the field uh, at, this, uh, at this competition. And so, we are uh, we are very excited to get things underway. I, know that the cell phone I don't know if it's my mic's not working or Keaton's just loud. Oh, okay. Uh, Do we think? Testing, testing. Hello. No, the levels are the levels are fine. Dana, okay, you have the quiet. microphone a little bit further away. All right. So we need to have them at about the same volume. So I'll go like this. But this. There we go. Apologize for getting the stream underway a little bit late today, people. But there was apparently a countrywide outage. We we uh, are experiencing internet. internet issues nationwide in Canada right now, and in addition to that, um, we had uh, some Ethernet issues uh, supposedly fixed by turning things off and turning them back on again. Which you know, as an engineer, that's always the best way to go. It's always the easiest way to start things. Mm -hmm. So. I can finally sit back, relax, and watch some solves. Watch some great cubing. Uh, in terms of highlights from the stream earlier that uh, that we were not able to catch, uh, Maddie ended up getting a nice 2164 single. Um, Maddie's been killing it. Huh? Maddie with the big cubes yeah. is definitely going hot. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think there's really anyone who's going to beat him on single right now. Patrick ended up getting a 27 average. Ari Branders Pearson, shout out to DMP, um, ended up with a 26 35 average and is currently in first place. But of course, not all results are in yet. So there's a big, big disclaimer there. Dana Yee, 36 77 average. Nice, nice 26.999 from Paul. Mike is echoing. Oh, 
better now. Remember the judges on the left was holding the cube so steady, I thought the frame was frozen. Yeah? Someone like this? Yeah. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> or is, is, we got some, uh... Jiggling. <laughs> some scratch going on in chat. My money Down don't below. jiggle, jiggle. Thanks, guys. Glad you hear the mics are okay. Yeah. Will Harris. Uh, Once again, we are calling group four for four by four. That's group four blue and group four red. Please bring up your cubes. Press space? I don't know. Press right. Beautiful. The bar is not glitching. I believe it's being edited, which, uh, as it's moving, looks like it's glitching. When uh, we were adding the spaces and dashes, yeah. it was going. <laughs> We got her, we got her moved over, Lisa. Oh, 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 oh go back Sorry. Back. Yeah. We won't touch it, our yeah. bet. Oh, okay. Sounds good. We just got a visit from one of the organizers of the competition, Alyssa Esperaz, and her brother, John Esperaz. Wow. Starting things off slow here. Paul Mavi is our, our person of interest today. I believe his last solve was a 2699. Nine. Nine nine. Nine nine nine. It's uh, it's a price at a grocery store. Mm, for one box of raspberries. Fun fact about Paul. Paul's been to I think every Euros since 2014. Mm. And in particular, whenever he goes over there, at least the first time I went with him, they called him Paul Mahfi. <laughs> at least the French did. Um, and I think it was one of the first times he'd been over there because, you know. You internalize your name in your head, um, but when someone says it with a completely different accent, it just it, doesn't it, register. It doesn't register, right? So, like, Kiton is pretty easy for me, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's, it's hard to mess up your name. Mm -hmm. It's it's four letters. Well, I get long. I get Donna, Dania, Danya. Danya. Yeah. There's no why, but it, it just happens, you know. Top of the morning. Actually, it's almost. It's almost not morning here. It is 11.25 a.m. here in Canada. Or in Toronto. Toronto. Canada's a big country. <laughs> Hello. I can't believe we've done this. I'm moving uh, we Dana's also have a camera way. on the blue stage. However, nothing is happening. So I believe Saul's are, are more interesting. Yes, Paul is currently the only one solving on solving one of the camera stations at all so fun fact we were supposed to have four cameras at this competition However, that would cover that would cover up to eight total timers so we can get some more action for you guys however shout out westjet um, <laughs> or like anti shout out for, for losing a bag in calgary so we are currently waiting on them to recover the bag and ship it on over to toronto so, I will give a huge shout out to WestJet when they do bring it. Um, lunch? Lunch is later than now, and honestly, that's the most important thing. How's chat doing? How you guys? Are you guys excited? Yeah, how is everyone? What events are we excited for and who are we excited to watch? Well, I'm excited for one-handed. Okay. And I just uh, want to make sure... I'm excited to watch sure Keaton do one-handed. I got a 13 average in the staff competition. Um, turns out that getting up at 6.30 in the morning to compete at 8 a.m. is not something I normally do. So... I, I'm hanging in there. See, when I organize competitions, I start them at 9 a.m. or later. So when I have to compete at 8 a.m., it doesn't happen. We get to sleep in tomorrow, actually. Yeah. We get to start at uh, 9 a.m., oh. so things are looking good. Okay, okay. But down in chat, which people are you guys most interested in seeing at this I've competition? I've seen Patrick. I've seen uh, Brian, Brian Johnson, Johnson. Zane Kanani. I don't think they're... 2 by 2 is probably later today, right? I believe 2x2 two two is tomorrow. tomorrow. 9 a.m. So. Bill Wang. Shout out Bill Wang. Yes, Bill Wang. You know who I want to see? I want to see Brennan win. 
Brennan. Do you know that name? Yes. Brennan Lynn. Yes. Our, our co-caster Brandon Lynn is Max just off Xiao. camera here and gave us gave us a nice also look. Also excited to see Max and Maddie. Maddie did phenomenally well in big cubes. Yeah. Uh, Brennan Lynn is uh, Canadian national record. Mm -hmm. Five point nine three. Mm -hmm. Keen, I have a, a question for you. So when you saw big cubes, do you hold it above the timer or come back into your lap and look down? I don't know. <laughs> what did Paul do? He, a lot of people, they bring it down and look down. And every time they do that, I can't help thinking, oh my god, my neck. Well, it's probably more comfortable for the hands. Yeah. It's not too bad for the neck as well. Mm. But in terms of casting perspectives, you can't see the cube at all. Exactly. Until they bring it up and then slap their hands exactly. on the table. So it's, uh, it's kind of tough. Antonio Cam. Oh, shout out Antonio Cam. I believe you got ASR yesterday mm. for blind single, 17 second uh, single. Sub Kaijun Lin. I think someone said they're excited to see Derpy Cuber. Daniel Carnock is going to be one of the casters on this stream, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so you'll see him a lot more than just solves. Yeah, he is going to be in your ear mm -hmm. all day long. Mm -hmm. Well, for about two hours a day. Yeah. Um, so, so you'll definitely hear him on stream. Tommy Cherry. I watched him do blind. It's absolutely incredible. Also, I personally don't do blind, so just watching people who are fast at blind is incredible. I want to see Kevin become North American champ despite having quit seriously cubing. Yeah, he's tried to retire a few times, but I guess the community I think he's I think back. he's completely done. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Max Park is not going to be coming to this competition. So once Kevin Hayes heard the news, I think he uh, started practicing. He keeps quite a bit more. So. Uh, yes. But then six and seven by seven were yesterday as well. So maybe we'll see you come back in finals, yeah. which are tonight. I'm excited. Yeah. Vishwa, shout out Vishwa Sankar for winning clock with the 449 average yesterday. We brought him on stream. Test stream. Yeah, uh, sticks. Kevin Hayes is not really competing that much, but it's really hard to say no to the North American Championships mm -hmm. here in Toronto, Canada. With, uh, Especially because he lives pretty close. He lives in uh, Boston. Boston yeah. So, Fishy Frog, Nick Nang, and Mega should be a pretty good sight to see. So, we got Paul still going. Ooh, oh, dirty. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. You'll make finals. You'll make second round, too. These are, all, these are all very good times. Um, I don't remember his last name, but that's Diego Nash. Huh? Crispa? Crespa. Diego Crespa. He's square one national record holder for Mexico. He's one of six Mexicans here at this competition. Shout, shout out to the Mexicans at this competition. You guys had to travel a very long way to get here. Tommy, by the way, Will Harris on that single by Tommy Cherry, the 1475 in the first round, um, he was actively shaking his head afterwards. He was not particularly happy uh, because apparently the scramble was so easy that he thinks he could have gotten better than a 1475. Yeah, I only saw his reaction, so I thought he DNF'd based on the reaction. I was scared because yeah. he DNF'd his other two times. Yeah. And I was like, did Tommy Cherry just get knocked out, like yeah. the favorite to win this competition? No. He's fine. Top Cuber, uh, there was actually an amendment recently. Competitors are allowed to bring two guests to this competition. So, so you get a little bit more in terms of... Uh, I'm not quite sure who's solving. If Chad can tell us, we'll give you a virtual high five. Yeah, the virtual is still there. 100 world records? Right? How many yes. records can you get fewer than this competition? Fewer than 100. Say one. 
I'll say... Eight seconds. Uh, I think it's going to be... Only... Three know. blind. I also think it'll be a, a blind. Oh, no, it could be square one. It could be square one. It could be square one. I'll say one world record, and it's either three blind or square one. I concur. That's not fine. All right, I'll say zero. Zero world records. Yeah. No pressure. There are a lot of fast blind solvers, fast square one solvers, fast people. Paul Mavi with a 31. Is that Carson with Giant? I believe on so. On the left? Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. With the mask. With the mask and, and when the they hair. Look down, yeah. And the hair. Yeah. And also, I haven't seen a lot of these people in three years. And a lot you of saw the, Carson with Giant like no, three no, no. years ago. No, no, no. I'm just saying, a lot of these, especially guys who were in their like early teens, and suddenly just grew a foot. Sorry, Dana. They left you behind. I know. Some of us can't do that. Sub-20 is not as impressive as it used to be. It is, however, still impressive. Such is, such is life. Yeah, people, people get faster. People just keep uh, getting faster and faster. When we get older, people get faster. Three, I think four, things will be pretty intense in the third round of blind. Mm. Blind's always one of my favorites to watch. <laughs> Everyone going like this with their hands. Yeah. Do you remember in 2019? Max Hilliard getting the 15-50 in Nats yes, Finals. I do. That was intense. That was crazy. I remember having to go yell at the crowd and tell them to shush. Like, shh. Because yeah. the whole crowd just goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't blame him, to be honest. Yeah. It's so instinctual. Yeah. You literally see the fastest time ever. ever. Literally ever. Uh, Will Harris, Juan Pablo is not... He did not get his visa in time. So, uh, some of the harsh realities of the world clashing with what we want to see in competition. Honestly, shout out that person. Imagine knowing you're going to be on stream in front of a decent number of people. And uh, shout out 110 people that are currently watching us live. Uh, and having a saw in front of that? Hey, Gail, how you doing? Carson on the left. I believe his last solve was a 29.92, and he seemed pretty happy about that. Yes. Shout out Carson with Jai, by the way. He's shaking. Think. That's the table. Oh, my bad. Our table is shaking. I'm shaking the table, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll see Max Park again pretty soon. He said it was just a, a month of personal reason, so let's let's not go too far into that. Everyone deserves a break. The maximum at the top level for five years at this point. Yeah. Oh no. Ooh, oh, oh no. no. Oh gosh. Carson with a pop or, or a misalignment. Oh my god, that parody took forever. Oh. Poor kid. Have you guys tried the new Diane 5x5? I actually do have one. I really like it. It was very sandy when I tried hers, but it's pretty good. I think, yeah, just need some breaking in, maybe a few hundred solves. As we did mention earlier, there's an online competition happening alongside this one, and 4x4 is currently open. Yes, you can go access it like Brotato Salad 1 did in chat <laughs> with exclamation point compete. You can also go to cubingathome.com slash NAC2022 to enter now. We're going to be trying to keep this schedule as close to the live schedule as possible, but one of the things we will be doing is also adding some time into the schedule for the events that happened yesterday, because obviously we are not going to be streaming those. So, 
that's uh, that's how we're going to try and work them into the schedule. What kind of microphones are you using? We are using microphones attached to Logitech headsets. Yes. Which the cups don't rotate, so I'm I'm feeling a little bit choked by these, <laughs> to be honest. I made, it, I made it as big as possible. Okay. So, we had quite a, a time getting our mics not to interfere with each other yesterday. So, we spent most of yesterday trying to get the, uh, the stream set up. Mm -hmm. We got a nice little backdrop here. This is not a green screen. This is no, real. It's real. Yeah. Um, use my green hat to show that. It's not a green screen. Yeah, shout out Boston. Um, Boston. But we got the backdrop. And if you guys have been paying attention to at least my Instagram at KHK Ellis. Um, Ooh. <laughs> If you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram, um, we have a nice big setup back here. We got four separate monitors. We got multiple laptops. Um, we have a $3,000 Mac Studio. Shout out Calvin for letting us borrow his high tech computer. Sam Schultz in chat. Shout out Sam. Sam Schultz. Of course, for those of you who are from the Northeast, Northeast uh, or Mid-Atlantic region lead for years and years and years, recently has decided to take a uh, step back, and uh, we miss you, Sam. Hope you're doing well. Reminder to chat: stay hydrated. Uh, do you want some water? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Very cold, very fresh. <sighs> Why is uh, FMC nice not relaxing. streamed? Uh, FMC, yes. when you're watching it, it kind of looks like, like an AP test or something, which I personally would not want to watch a stream of. And also, as a streamer, it would be quite difficult to cast. It also takes an hour. Yeah, it takes an hour as well. I, uh, for FMC, I think we're going to have Krish and Daniel Carnot come on at some point and they'll be talking about it. So that might be the right time. The next groups of the 4 by 4 That's group 5, blue stage, group 5, red stage, and group 1, green stage. <laughs> everyone we're gonna be moving on to four by four groups five and five yep. right now normally I call multiple at a competition but mm -hmm. right now we just uh, are going with group five at one given time um, I hope you guys are enjoying some of these graphics that we have uh, to sort of highlight these events including some nice fun facts about them obviously Max Park is crushing it with a 16 single and a 19 average for four by four which Dana what's your best time on four by four Officially, I believe it's a 26. Best ever is a 24, so that's crazy to me. But you can average sub-20 seconds. Yeah. Um, it really is just a whole other level of being able to turn as fast as you physically can. Yeah. Um, Without stopping. But, yeah, shout out Stanley Chapel for uh, being able to avoid 4x4 four four parity by counting the, number, <laughs> counting the number of even and odd moves that the centers had. Um, or, no, it's wings, I think. You count the wing, the wing parity. Either way, it's it's still a very impressive feat. Um, I also like the graphics. Yeah, they're they're very cool. Shout out Made the uh, professionals. Shout out the cubicle.com 
for uh, their live stream sponsorship, which includes some of these hot graphics. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how fast some people are at big cubes because, um, let's see, like Max's 4x4 four four is like 37, 35? 4x4? Four four? Yeah. You mean 5x5? Five 5x5, by five. Five by five, sorry. My 4x4 four four is 35. Yes. So Max's 5x5 five five is not quite that fast. I'm a little faster than him. But his 6x6 his six six is like faster than a lot of people's 4x4. Four four. It's crazy the overlap. Yes. You know, on some competitions, his 6x6 results would make the 4x4 cutoff. Exactly. That's absolutely insane. Ah, Sam Fang does it as well. Mm. I don't really associate Sam Fang with blind techniques, though. Mm. And the one bad thing is that it takes up all your inspection time. Mm. So you cannot plan your first center at mm. all. Um, but, of course, people will end up getting, getting faster at that mm -hmm. as time goes on. But it hasn't really hit the mainstream in terms of... Uh, mm -hmm. These are things. Well, tracing CSP is similar, right? Mm -hmm. Tracing CSP is similar, uh, but it's not quite the same. Because with CSP, you have a specific order that you track each P, each cube shape. You go from this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, right? And then for that, then you just keep track of each of the patterns and then you memorize those uh, but I presume for 4x4 parity avoidance you need to track the wings around the cube um, which I suppose if you can do more than one per second you're probably fine in terms of inspection Pedro Alejandro Condo Tellez who does not know of, uh, of the Sar Big Cube guy he's old He's been competing for a while. I think things are a little bit slow right now. Yeah, we, we've got a bit of delay mm -hmm. bringing 4x4 Group 5 right now. How many solves do you think happen at this competition? You don't do the math for it, but just like... Don't do the math? Yeah. 10,000. All right. So, someone has to scramble every single one of those cubes. Well, let's do the math now. All right, now we're going to do the math. We got so 17 events. So, let's assume on average that people register for nine events. Yeah. And let's assume that on average um, they make it to the second round in two of them. Mm-hmm. So, that's nine times five times, or 11 times five. Mm -hmm. right? Maybe one of those big cube or something, mm -hmm. right? So... 10 times 5 plus 3 is like 50-ish solves that they do. Mm -hmm. Times 500 people. Mm -hmm. 25,000. Mm -hmm. I'm off by a lot. Yeah. Don't forget multi. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll figure that out. I guess FMC doesn't count. No, because you scramble your own cube. Exactly. Oh, shout out Graham Siggins. Yeah. Not Graham Siggins. Graham... <laughs> Shout out Graham Lively. Oh man, I, I see his mom and his younger brother mm -hmm. and a couple rows ahead of him. Shout out Graham Lively, and that's a uh, Samir. That's not Samir, is it? Uh, uh, is he? Is that Varun Mohanraj? Potentially, he's standing in Salvador. Yeah, that's very I rare. think it's Ver it's uh, it's one of the the tiny children from the northwest. Uh. Although they're not so tiny anymore. Um, I believe that's Varun then. Because Samir sat down for square one, so this has got to be Varun. I think Samir is also wearing a white jacket. Yes. How do we feel about standing and solving? Okay. Just getting words from our producers. Yes, it is Varun. Thanks, guys, down in chat. Danny, shout out Danny Park. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Wish you were here, of course. Um, Dana, how, you, how have you been doing so far? Uh, yesterday, I got a pop on 6x6, six six, so I got a three minute solve. No, that sounds like my but time. I made 7x7 seven seven finals. Congratulations. And I made Bang Around 2. 
However, today I started competing at 8 a.m. and I woke up at 7.35. Um, so it did not go great, honestly. I'm hoping I make round two and can redeem myself, but I'm kind of chill because I don't have anything else to do until around 5 p.m. tonight. All we have to do all day long yeah. is sit and talk. Which, and eat. I'm excited for and that. And eat, of course. Yeah, things are, uh, things are going well for me as well. I mean, not great, great. In terms of big cubes, I've, I've clearly gotten a little bit older and a little bit rustier. But I'm happy to have uh, gotten a, a one-hand average. I'm fairly certain it's going to make it to the next round, which is really my focus because I try to, you know, also get up at 8 a.m. Or I had to start competing at 8 a.m. Whoa. <laughs> we got Chat some fun, fun stuff going on in the, the box below. We've got Nicholas Sanchez on the left. Nicholas, by the way, is hiding some, some big gains under that under that sweatshirt. <laughs> Sub 30. Nice. Does not look happy with it. <laughs> Nicholas is from Georgia, right? Yes. He's Georgia. one of the big Southeast Cubers. Uh, and he happens to be one of the few that does, you know, doesn't exclusively do Rubik's Block. Mm. Which, as an event, is very, very popular down there. Graham. Lightning on the right. What I say? Siggins? I don't think he's here. No, he's not. Graham Siggins is not able to attend this competition, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if my 35 average is going to make. Uh, I'm also curious if my 36 average is going to make, make the second round. Yeah. What'd you point out? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Never mind. Okay. Nice 31 by Graham. Wait. Yes, Na Nationals is in Pittsburgh. This is public knowledge. Giving USA posted it about three months ago. So, shout out Pittsburgh. Shout out Allegheny. Kid looks happy. He was, he like pumped his fist and then shook his head. I'm getting <coughs> confused. Mixed signals. Uh, yeah, mixed signals. Mixed here. signals. Yeah, unfortunately, Max Park was unable to attend this competition. Will Dana MC the finals? I don't know. You're, I not. you're scheduled to cast part of the finals. Oh, I guess I'm not MCing. I will be casting it with Keenan. I mean, you can you can decline to cast if you want. We'll Who's going to MC? Oh, all right. Okay, I'm. All right. What if you make finals? The chances of that are very slim. If, what, if I make it, what's the okay. cutoff right now? It's like six. What's the psych sheet saying? Four or something. Six point four. Maybe you got to be kidding me. No. The cutoff right now is six point six. Okay, so honestly, finals that doesn't probably be that doesn't matter. It doesn't change. Finals are probably seven point one. I think that's low. I think low. finals are going to be like seven point five. If it's seven five, I could make it. Yeah, with your best average ever. I've been consistently getting around there, though. That's good, though. I saw your 755 last weekend at Night Champs. Night. And why? And why? And Sub 7 will definitely make finals, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the cutoff. Right. I agree. Shout out JR Cuber, best cubicle employee. He's standing directly in front of us, right behind the cast of the camera, being very productive and helping us out with our stream.
Will Harris. You remember when I was a cubicle intern? Shout out Will Harris. Cut off for two by two finals. I mean, two by two is just a crazy high variance kind of competition. Especially as a percentage of the time. It's so much harder. What do we have for two by two? 16th place is a 1.54 average. 17th place is 1.55, and 18th place is 1.56. I think a sub 1.8 will make it. Is JR doing a vlog this year? Let's ask the man himself. He shakes his head no. Dana is, However, though. I will be. It will be released at an unspecified time. Uh, I also have footage Many from, like, four competitions that I need to edit. and I bugged Dana about that, by the way. It will happen. I get, I get in character. Yeah. I mean, I just be myself. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm ready to speak in front of a camera. I'm so excited. I try to help Dana out. Mm -hmm. She doesn't put it's anything on the internet. It's going to happen. I'm what? not promising when. What? Maybe 10 years from now. I know. Struck by lightning, 14. Yeah, I've done a lot of traveling recently. I've been to Turkey. Two cities in Turkey. I've been to Boston. I've been to uh, Pennsylvania Championships. And then uh, a week later, I went over to France and then Italy. And then I flew straight from Italy to Toronto for this competition. So after this, I cannot wait to sleep in my own bed for more than a couple nights in a row. Very nice. But you know, you have to bring the energy. Shout out Noob Me down in chat. Um, you got to do it. That's, that's part of the job. You're here to entertain. You're here to talk. You're going to have a good time. And so far, it is a pretty good time. A lot of great people that are showing up on stream. We had a nice test stream yesterday. Mm -hmm. But something always has to go wrong. Yeah. So, Stark, I think the OG about uploading competition footage really late is me, myself, and Pi. Mm -hmm. Shout out the Nationals 2014 vlog going up multiple years later. That's how you relive it. You upload it years later. Nice 31 out on stream. The ruin's still going hot. We got a lot of nice first round action for you guys today. After 4x4, we're going to be moving on to, I believe, one-handed is the next event. Sub-5 singles? I don't know, 10, 15? I think there will be quite a few. Some people can get four averages, so it's... It's going to be a lot more than last time we, we had one of these live streams. Um, just as a reminder, there is no rebroadcasting of this stream allowed. Uh, if you are currently rebroadcasting the stream, we ask you to please cease to do so. Um, and uh, for those of you who are watching the stream, please make sure you do so through official channels only. Twitch.tv slash the cubicle stream is the official link on twitch.tv. You can also go watch it at the Cubicles YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash the cubicle, I would presume. Um, or you can simply just go look up the cubicle on YouTube and you will be able to find it fairly easily. To make sure you guys are pleased watching through one of the two official channels in order to be able to access this live stream. Maddie sub five average. Possibly. You, he plus two out of a 494. I watched that. That, oh. That was painful. Like, it was good, but it was painful. That said, though, he plus two on the second saw. Mm. No guarantees he's going to keep nervous throughout the entire time. True. But those types of things, they, they help shape someone, and uh, I'm glad that he got that experience before this competition mm. instead of during it. So, JV Ju, um, NA champs outside of the USA, Canada, and Mexico would be in an island in the Caribbean. So, probably unlikely just due to accessibility. Well, I think just due to the fact that there aren't big cubing scenes down in the yeah. Caribbean. The Dominican Republic, I think, has one. Yeah. But other than that, really not that much, unfortunately. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Timon plus twoing out a 375 ER single and I remember 474 that. average. Timon just, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to keep up with it to be honest. Every time you take a look at the guy, he's just crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. I saw one of Leo Borromeo's solves recently. 484? Yeah, it's not his PB, right? No. But he it was turned, so smooth. He turned so fast, I thought I was watching it at 1.25 speed. To me, the thing that really got me was just no pauses. Yeah. Just doesn't stop turning. Yeah, Leo does have sub-6 averages. I think he's no longer top 10 in the world, but he's very, very close to it. Uh, Rune with PLO or with OLO parity. Not hot. Thirty ones will make the next round, guarantee, guarantee. And Carter Bits with a thirty-four point five nine three. Round things out here. Look at that snazzy hoodie. Snazzy hoodie. It's the North American Champs logo, and then in the background you've got uh, North America. I mean, but it's got the Canadian maple leaf red. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. So, as we are pulling up on 12 o'clock here, we're going to be transitioning over to our next set of casters. Uh, Dana and I will not be here the whole day. We'll have a whole series of casters. So Dana and I will be part of the crew. But in addition to us, we've got Michael Chai, Brandon Lynn, Chris Shanathawani, and Daniel Carnock, a.k.a. Derby Cuber. So, big shout out to our team as they come on stream. Give us a uh, give them a warm welcome, and uh, we're going to be moving off here for just one second, and we're going to be coming back on uh, to continue casting 4x4 with Chris Shanathwani and Brandon Lynn. So uh, we're going to be moving over to them in just a second, and uh, thanks so much for listening. We'll see you guys soon. What's up, everybody? Hey. We're, we are, um, I'm Brandon. I'm Krish. Uh, we're still, uh, we're still doing, uh, 4x4 round one. Indeed. Uh, we're coming up on the later groups right now. Um, and, yeah, um, I guess we can, we, we also just had FMC just we happen. Did. FMC attempt two just yeah. happened. And so, Krish, you just did FMC. I did just do FMC. About it? Yeah, so, uh. Uh, pretty eventful. Uh, currently, Kerry Creech and Kyung Min Choi are tied for first place with a mean of two of 23 flat. Um, then I believe AJ Campbell and Chris Chi are tied for second place, mm. or I guess third, with a mean of two of 24.5. And then mm. myself, Owen Wittis, and Walker Welch are tied for, th for I guess, fifth place um, with a mean of two of 25 flat. So. Yeah, I've definitely been going for a podium, but I'm um, a move off right now. We'll see what happens. But the best attempt, or the best result in this scramble was a 22 by Kelman Choi and Mark Boynowski. Um, the scramble was pretty good. EO count was 644. If that means anything to anyone watching, my mic's a tad bit quiet apparently. Uh, uh, I could probably just talk louder, but uh, mic a little bit closer. Oh yeah. 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 Apparently. Um, Yeah, two, two. But yeah, um, yeah, FMC was good. Um, it was a good scramble. I was definitely a fan. Um, I think it was just a little hard to think, just given like the pressure, because you know it's NA champs, so you want to do well. But uh, 
Yeah, I'm excited to watch them 4x4. Um, Everyone's using a Dalmar Reduction. Yes, right. yes. So um, you'll actually see more about that on the seminars tonight. Mm -hmm. um, DR has definitely become the FMC meta. Um, that When the last uh, big US comp happened, so Nats 2019, the meta was EO and Blocks. Now everyone's kind of moved on to Dominant Reduction, Half Term Reduction. Um, it was definitely uh, hard to get used to that way of thinking, but uh, once I got the hang of it, it definitely made me a lot more consistent. Like I'd say at home, I average about 24. Where, whereas with blocks and EO, I average like 27. So, yeah. yeah. FMC is a very good event. So, anyone yeah. in chat who uh, is considering getting into FMC, it may seem hard at first, but uh, if you grind a lot, um, becoming world class is definitely a possibility. It's also one of those events that uh, you don't really lose the skills. Yeah. And uh, just as a reminder, we have seminars uh, going on tonight at the. Uh at the venue. Uh, I believe we're streaming the seminars, are we? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a seminar on blind uh, on, on new 3x3 blindfold techniques, uh, one FMC. Um, I forget the last two are, but we're going to have the seminars live streamed on this channel as well, so you guys can check it out in real yes, time. Yes, you can. It's very exciting. Uh, yeah. Um, what are some of the craziest 4x4 solves we've seen so far? Do we know? Seen... I haven't seen anything, I haven't seen anything too insane. Um, yeah. Mainly, been, been seeing a couple of low twenties, um, but nothing like. I haven't seen any. Yeah, anything yeah, yeah. Get anything too crazy. If if, if chat happened to happen to have seen something. Uh, before, yeah. In the last group, let us know. Um, I'm trying to learn HTR now, breaking my tiny brain. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess the way I think of it is just doing DR again, but you have to make sure that the DR you have before is good corner like has good corners like that can be solved like fair with fairly shortly so um yeah once you think about it like that it starts to become easier i guess it's pretty formulaic to me you just reduce to two hdr minus two e4c and then just set up from there um it's just doing dr again but those corners are going to be easier already set up because they're in like you only have to do half turns to get there except for the two or except for the one quarter turn that you have to do to get to hdr minus two e4c Yeah. Final groups for 4x4. Four four. You know, I'm going to check how uh, yeah, it's been going. Let's see what the results. Um, what do you think of the current Square One meta? Oh, oh the current Square One meta is crazy. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean... Uh, everyone, everyone... I think... it's a, I would say it's a lot of valves. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, and MGC, and I, I'm using the MGC Square One right now. It's... Uh, it's an amazing square one. Uh, even just, yeah, just out of the box, nothing. It's amazing. Um, and yeah, like it's, the the whole CSP OBL PBL combo is 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 it it breaks is, my brain, man. It's, it's, like, it's insane. It's just absurd. It's insane, and it's I think during the pandemic, it's gotten so much yeah, traction. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, major shout out to one of our casters, Daniel Carnock. Yeah. That dude is insane. First person to do full one out PBL. First, th I think the first three looker. Um, and he is nuts. Yeah. Um, after I've 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 definitely talked with him a lot about Square One stuff, and like that man is always just drilling algs, coming up with new algs and stuff. It's it's insane. Like he went through like something crazy. Like like he he will take a PBL case and then gen like all the algs for it and go through all of them until he finds one that's optimized for it. So yeah. I, I saw him do that recently, which was pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like I guess to me, it makes Square One not seem as accessible. If that. Like like getting really really good, yeah. But like if you're willing to put in the work and your turning's already there, then like learn the algs and you'll get there. Yeah, I mean you can still, I'd say things like cube shape parity are still. I wouldn't say it's the most accessible thing in the world, but it's still, it's still, it's still learnable decently. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean I tried to learn. I've definitely tried to learn CSP a couple of times, because uh. I'm alright at square one without the without the parity. How'd but, you, uh, do, how'd you do, uh, did you make second round? Um, I made I I was a few places off of finals actually. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I got a nine flat average in round two. It was PR. I nice. counted a PR single. Mm. Pretty awesome. Got a seven one eight nine and ten point eight counting. Yeah. The ten point eight had a parity. I see. But uh, yeah, those scrambles were really nice. Um, they were nice scrambles. If you if you look at what made finals actually, an eight point six average made finals, which is only like point three off of what it what it is on the psych sheet. Which is absurd. And it kind of proves that, like, at least for low-level square oneers like myself who don't use CSP, the solutions were pretty easy. Yeah. 
I got 21st in uh, the second no. round, so I missed finals by one spot. No, <laughs> no, that's so sad. So, probably we'll be talking about finals as that happens. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you'll get to watch. Yeah. I'm excited to watch that, man. I think uh, Daniel and Max are sitting next to each other, so that should be really cool to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I'm very excited. Very excited for that. Um, yeah, three look though. Three looking. I, I I I wish I. It's insane, but I don't think I can put in the work now to yeah, to no. learn that. Yeah. I'm comfortable where I am. CSP is a. C I mean, CSP is probably where I'll where half, I'll stay. Half for the now. growth of Square One is attributed to you, man. Like. You wait. You broke sub ten. You broke sub nine. Like those are two huge barriers. You were like the square oneer. So yeah, I didn't. I did it. But I. I mean, I have to still give credit to all the uh, all the people that generated all the outs. Well, that's fair. Yeah, stuff. of course. So, but like those are the real. Those are probably, yeah, can't forget. Yeah. Can't forget where it started. You. You probably inspired all of them. Uh, um. Yeah, the fastest four x four average we've seen so far is Matty Hiroto Inaba, twenty four point one average, I believe. Mm. Which is pretty good. He, uh, I could definitely see him being the North American champion. Max okay. Park not being here is yeah, all right. definitely opening a lot of doors for people. So we've got Tommy Cherry on the right and Luke Garrett on the left. Let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. I think Tommy is tracing OLL parody avoidance. Oh, he is. So uh, let's see what happens Interesting. there. Interesting. Um. Oh. All right. So Luke's starting about five seconds after Tommy. Let's see what happens. A little bit slow turning in the beginning. I mean, I guess he has to track the uh, yeah. track the orientation of what he's doing. Luke and Tommy both pretty insane cubers. Tommy nearly getting blind world record single in round one. Uh, I saw I saw him do it, and he shook his head yeah. after a 14.6. All right, let's see if Tommy, Tommy gets his OLL parity. Oh, his OLL no parity avoidance worked. Yeah, nice. All right, Luke finishing up his solve. 30.3, nice. 36.2 for Tommy. Yeah, so, yeah, um, as people are saying in the chat, like, this all parody avoidance stuff is crazy. Sam Fang also does it. I don't know how fast he is, but uh, I know that I know that he does it, and I know that I'm surprised that you can do that in under 15 seconds, like, yeah. still see your first center. The first video I saw was by Stanley Travel. Oh, really? That was, that right, was, that right, was amazing. Right. I mean, yeah. Stanley's another cuber who's just yeah. absolutely insane. I know he's been grinding Square One recently. Uh, he's been, um, <laughs> he does every event. He does every event. It's <laughs> absurd. I'm uh I'm just waiting for the day he nemesizes me. Yeah. Carter Kukala on the left, yeah. Um, yeah, Carter Skew, uh, second in the world for Skew, the first ever sub two. Uh, very very good. He also recently got a uh, I believe a sub 12 OH average, which is pretty good for him. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean Carter's another really good all rounder. He's very good at kinch ranks as well. Uh, Jack Pfeiffer on the right. Yeah, I don't know what Carter's official 4 x 4 average is, but oh, uh, Martin Egdal also did uh, a low parity points. Yeah, I know. That, I, I, although I'm not surprised. That yeah, that would make <laughs> sense. That would very much make sense. All right, Carter on PLL at 29. Ooh, M slice Z perm 31.5. Not too bad for Carter, I don't think. Um, we'll go right with that. Yeah, I know Jack has a 301 4 x 4 average, I believe. I remember seeing that on YouTube. Ooh. I think it was like. Counting 33 on the, like his last two solves were like a 36 and 33 or something. This solve looks pretty good for him. Yeah, this solve definitely does look pretty good for him. He's already on 3 2 stage. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. no parody. Okay. He has peed up, peed up. parody. Oh, no, the lockups. Oh, 28. All right, Not all right. Bad. Not, Not bad, bad for him. Hopefully, he can get that sub 30 average. I know he was very close last time. All right, now we got Sean Hartman coming up on the left. This is, uh,. You know, this just feels crazy to be back at a big comp. Why would Martin doing all our parity avoidance make sense? Uh, no, he's just good, good at he's, he's good, good at blind. everything. He's, he's good, good at everything. Blind, yeah. Yeah, that too. So. I mean, I guess it, this seems to be a trait found in all rounders. Yeah. Tommy Cherry, Martin, Stanley, do all doing all our parity avoidance. We've got Luke Dixon over here on the right. And Sean Hartman on the left. How many WRs do you think there will be? <laughs> um, I don't know. Um. I don't know. I mean, Skub and 2x2 two two tomorrow. I'll have to keep an eye on Zane and Carter for Skub as well. But Zane for Skub and 2x2. Two two, I, I definitely think we should be on watch there. Maddie plus 2 out of uh, sub 5, 3x3 three three average at Northeast Champs. So I could definitely see a world record happening there. But it's, all, it's also North American Champs. Like, there's definitely added pressure. I saw some. There was, there was definitely some world record potential. Like, 
frees up the first half square one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Samir had some Samir, insane yeah. average. Yeah, Samir plus two down to 512. Yeah. All right, Sean Hartman with a 32. Luke Tixon on PLL. Luke Tixon okay. with a oh, 28 a or a 30. Is that a plus two? Looks, can't tell from this camera angle. I guess they're checking. Yeah. Um, I, you oh, know what? I'm gonna go out two. on a limb. I'm gonna say one world record. I don't I think. think we'll, I, I don't think we'll see more than that. I think at most one. I'm not sure if we'll see any, but, but there's already been a couple yeah. of uh, national records. Yeah. I cannot wait for uh, for three by three finals oh. to watch that. I mean, that's always my favorite part of big comps is watching three by three finals. Uh oh, that's the. Best part. Yeah, just the pressure there. Yeah. Katie Hall on the left. Brian Johnson fixing a pop on the oh, right. No. Oh no, Beebs, no. <laughs> we got Tommy Cherry in the bottom left as well. And Jack Pfeiffer on the right there. Um, Katie, I believe, is female world record holder for 4x4 average. I think she has like 26 something, right? I can't remember. It's her Dana. Sorry? I can't remember. It's her Dana. I think it's Katie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa. Katie with oh, a 24. That's, that's, oh, wow. That's good. That is good. All right. Oh, Beebs Brian is, is still really fixing his bow. Oh, no. oh <laughs> man. No. Brian. I think he got a miss internal misalign. Yeah, that's what I don't it looks know. Like. I, I feel like I just stopped the timer at that point. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Tommy Can't Cherry with a 29.7 in the bottom. Can't afford to get too nice. Yeah. Oh, Jack Pfeiffer on three by three stage. Oh, well done. About to be done, sorry. Oh, he's in Ola parody. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh. Man, that that's a that's a nine second last layer from Jack Pfeiffer. That's very unfortunate. Ryan Wu on the left. Love that kid. Ryan Wu is uh, getting really good at three by three also. Um, some sub seven averages from him. Definitely keep a lookout for him. He also got a four eighty at Rock the Cube twenty twenty two. Where is that? Uh, Rochester. Uh, Rochester, New York. I see, yeah. I see. That's I see. Great yeah. I saw New York and I was like, oh wow, maybe I can go. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that is literally Canada. I am from, well, I go to school in Massachusetts, but I am originally from Connecticut. I see, I see. Yes. So, like, New York, you know, I could have stayed at home. Out of that comp? No, definitely not. Rochester's still a bit. Rochester's so far. far. Yeah. But, you know, it could be Ryan Wu, the 28. Dylan Miller on the right, Luke Garrett in the bottom yeah. on the right. Uh, Dylan, Dylan Miller uh, is to just finish his edge pairing. Yeah. This does not look to be a very good solve from Dylan. Oh, never mind. He saw. Oh, 34. Right. Well, no parity. No yeah, no parity really saved him. Yeah. Dylan Miller also someone to keep a lookout for. Definitely could see him in the three x three final. Potentially making some noise. Yeah, Luke Garrett on his PLO. 30.5. Ah, he's shaking his head. I don't know what's up there. Uh, Where's everyone in, 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 in chat watching from? Yeah. How do you avoid OLA parity? I believe it's the same way as doing CSP on square one. So it's a little bit, it's, it's, it's a tiny bit different. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Explain, explain, so, explain. Yeah, so, so, in, in, so I guess in, in CSP, you have a in, in inspection. You can actually, first of all, figure, figure out if you have a parity error during inspection, and then do the appropriate moves to do that. Um, I don't have the full impression of how all of parity avoidance works, but to my knowledge, you sort of tr you when you're during inspection, you'll have some initial idea of what kind of orientation your cube is going to be, uh, and then. When you're solving, you'll do like your first two centers. If you're doing Yao, you'll do your first three edges. Up until third center, of basically your fifth center, you'll, you're will you gonna be tracking how many moves you're gonna be doing. Uh, wow. To, you're gonna be basically tracking moves to That's track of orientation. And then based on like whatever you calculate, uh, you'll correct the parity. From yeah. there, so it's, it's a cool. lot of. You, if, 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 you, if you see like Tommy turning slowly, it's because he's trying to track those moves. That's uh, too much, man. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's too much. It's a lot. I mean, yeah. for something that's greatly going to reduce your solve time, I, it's definitely worth it. I do not see myself learning that anytime yeah. soon. I also do not care that much about 4x4 and Tommy doing OL parody. Very fast, actually. 
I think it'll be fun to try one time. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I, I think if I'm going to learn one of those parody points, yeah. I'm going to learn CSP. Danny Park, hello. What's up, Danny? Oh, yeah. And Brandon oh, Yunez, what's up, hello. Son? Brandon, dude, how are you? Oh, Carter with a pop. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, Jack Pfeiffer coming in on the left. I'm surprised we haven't figured the pop, the pop technology. Dude, I know. I'm serious. I like, oh my god. It's just the most annoying thing when you go to, when you, when you go to do like a nice, especially 6x6. Six six. Oh god. The amount of pops I get on 6x6 yeah. six six is absurd. Like, that should not be happening in 2022. <laughs> It is, it is, we're really out here in 2022, and we're still getting pops on big cubes. Ryan Wu starting his 4x4 solve. Ryan's also been experimenting with some color neutrality stuff on 3x3. Three three. Um, yeah, but I could definitely see him being, being really good in the future. I assume he does uh, dual white yellow now? Um, or? yeah, I think he, he started out dual white yellow. He does, probably does dual white yellow on 4x4. Four four, but, um, oh, he's on 3x3 three three stage right now, actually. Oh, well, parody at 21. Wow. Um, but yeah, I think he's posted some, like, sub-7 averages officially with color neutral. I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I believe that is what's happening. Alright, uh, just a quick announcement. At home, 4x4 is about closed, so if you want to do that, go, you can go check the results. Once again, the URL is qbathome.com slash NAC 2022. Yes. So... You want to check that out? Go ahead. Luke Garrett with the 20. Shaking his head. What What could possibly be making him so upset? Sean Hartman on the left. Sean Hartman from Florida. Another all rounder. Very good at 6x6. Six six. I believe his official mean is sub 140. That's, mm, which is pretty good. Pretty fast. Yeah. Definitely a big keep specialist. Are you excited for six and seven finals today? Oh, that'll be that'll be exciting. Who are you, yeah. Who's your Who's your pick to win both? Ryan. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I I mean, I think prior to the competition, it'll be Max, but unfortunately, yeah. Max won't be coming. So he's dealing with some personal we'll issues. Yeah, unfortunately. we will. Honestly, we'll. Yeah, we'll see. There's a There's a There's a bunch of uh, Yeah. There's a bunch of top contenders for pick cubes. Uh, yeah. And I mean, I know I know Kevin's been practicing, but I'm not sure uh, how. I'm not sure how fast it'll be yeah, in the I am, finals. I am hard rooting for Benway. Yeah, um, ben, ben, definitely, definitely Benway. If okay. anyone deserves this, is Ben, man. Yeah. That that dude is so dedicated. I I'm really hoping he pulls through. Yeah. But he won bo both the first rounds of six and seven, so uh, it would really be something to see. But Kevin got the best of Ben in Northeast Champs in both six and seven, so I think it's I think it's pretty clear that those two are going to be first and second. Mm -hmm. Um. And we'll see. We'll see what happens because it definitely should be an interesting match. Do you know if Max Park's going to Euros? Uh, I think, given what he said, I would. I would. I would. I would guess no. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, he said yeah, he's. I would, I would not. I would not. If you can check Euros. out his Instagram, I believe it's at maxfast23. Um, he he uh, released a, like a little statement, I believe. Yeah. Euros is in. I believe it's in Copenhagen, right? It's in Copenhagen, yes. yeah. It's in, I believe it's in oh, two weeks. A week or two weeks? I think it's a week from yeah. today. I think it's a week from today. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely would be on the lookout for some world records yeah. and heroes. I'm excited to see Timo compete. Oh. I'll definitely yeah. be watching that live stream. Katie Hole with 3090. Yeah. I don't know if she's too pleased with that. Ryan Wu on 3x3 three three stage. Oh, well, oh parody again. Should have avoided it. Should have learned the necessary techniques. Yeah. Yes, Kevin Hayes is here. Um, as soon as he heard that Max wasn't coming, he started practicing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Max is just absolutely unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like anyone who does any end by end event, the second they heard that Max wasn't coming, was like, oh, yeah. now I have a chance. See, then Max is here. Come on, man! Like that—that's just unfair. He's just so good. All right, again, Luke Garrett on the right, Jack Pfeiffer on the left. Let's see what happens. Jack Pfeiffer with his inspection. Good. Okay. All right. 
Jack Pfeiffer just finished using centers. Luke Garrett starting salt now. Mm -hmm. I think Jack is just on edge pairing, yeah. Yeah. Very fluid transition to 3x3 three three stage. I honestly couldn't even tell when he was done. Oh. Wall parity. Oh. No peel wall parity, though. Oh, never mind. No. I spoke too soon. 33. <laughs> He's not pleased with that. I only learned recently that there were, you know, like, cases where you shouldn't be doing the PLO first. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know this. So, so. Uh, Luke with a 32. I've I've definitely gone back and forth on that. Uh, um, yeah. Yep. All right. So here are the cubing at home. Uh, 4x4. Four four, oh. They can? Oh. Yeah, so these are the cubing at home 4x4 results. Um, in third place, we have William Harris with a 31.08 average. In second place, we have Darren Saito with a 30.98 average. And in first place, taking the gold, we have Brandon Nunez with a average of 29.42. Man, Brandon, he's he's crazy good. He just got a 23 average at New York Champs in 4x4. Yeah. I believe that's ninth in the world or eighth in the world, something like that. Yeah, but he's really good. Darren Saito also just won his, won three by three, just, or won his first comp. Um, a couple weeks back, uh, Fast and Mass 2022. He beat me in the final. Yeah, yeah. congrats. Yeah, congrats to Darren. Yeah. Darren is definitely an up-and-coming keeper to keep a lookout for. He's a very good all-rounder. Um, yeah. He's very good at OH, too. He's sub-12 average, I believe. Yeah, and congrats, congrats to everyone else that uh, competed in Cuban Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Brennan Dunning and narrowly missing out on a podium there. Ooh, the, by, by point a one. Point, point one two. Yeah. Oh, my. I think the best solve of the round is a 25.72, again, by Brendan Nunez. All right, and now we are back. Uh, Carter Kukala on the left. Luke Tixon getting a 27.8 on the right, or is that a 29.8? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Carter is going to start his solve. Yes. Carter also yeah. has the potential to make 3 by 3 finals. I could definitely see him doing that. Sub-7 official average. Here, you know what, Brandon, what, do you think, what average do you think is going to make 3 by 3 finals? 3 by 3 finals? Um, I think it's going to be... How many rounds do we have? Four. Four, four, four rounds. rounds. All right. So definitely some rounds for people to shake all the nerves there. I'm going to say 6.5. 6.5? Whoa. 6.5, I say... Okay, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a little lenient. I'll take seven. Yeah. Seven average. I think, yeah, I think sub seven, maybe honestly low seven will make it. Um, I could honestly, with nerves, especially because this is the first, you know, big, big North American comp, really the first big comp yeah. in like three years. I could definitely see nerves getting the better of people because making three by three finals is such a big comp is definitely a huge accomplishment. I could almost see it being as high as seven five. Well, I will say. There's, there's still a decent amount of people that yes. have plenty of experience oh, with, yeah, with big competitions. But even so, like Matty, this is his first comp being uh, being uh, very relevant mm. um, when he goes to compete. Like, he's always been good, but he wasn't even in 3 by 3 finals at Nats 19. I don't even know if he went. I think he went. I think. But he was not in finals. The last, at uh, 2019? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it was in Yeah, because Matty... Um, Matty really got good over the pandemic. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Seven yes. flat will be the first not to make finals, created by Arya Honig. He thinks there will be exactly 16 sub seven averages. Jason Hamilton, this is uh, this is four by four. Uh, we are on the last group of four by four. Yes. Uh, right after this, we will be taking a quick lunch break, and then right after that, we'll have five by five. Yes. Where are you going for lunch? Um, Where probably going to have like the staff lunch. Oh yeah, that's yeah. probably a good idea. Yeah. yeah. There are there are there are plenty of places here in Toronto. Yes. But. I'm definitely considering going out and getting some boba. I believe there's a place not too far from here. That would uh Yeah. That would honestly make my day. Luke Garrett hitting a little parody. Oh, PLL. Sub thirty? Oh. oh no, the lockups. Thirty one for Luke Garrett. Okay, sixteenth on the three by three psych sheet is six sixty seven. And then you take you take away max. And it becomes 671. Oh, so okay. I could definitely see it being yeah. like as seven, high as mid seven. So definitely 100 percent not 6.5. Let's say mid. Yeah, I said yeah. Low seven sounds reasonable. 
Uh, Arya Honing says, Krish, I remember meeting you at Northeast Championship and thinking I was Harsha Paladugu. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harsha's pretty good at Pyraminx. Definitely keep a lookout for him this weekend. Um, Northeast Champs wasn't the best for him for Pyraminx. He DNF the second round. But Harsha has been very close to some sub-2 averages. Um, and he's definitely uh, someone to look out for, a potential North American champion. Yeah. So we're definitely for him. Sneaking in a, uh, sneaking a sub-30. But I definitely get the confusion. Uh, we're both tall Indian guys. We're good at pyramids, so Harsh is a little bit better than me, though. I will say I'm definitely not capable of sub two average, unless I have very good scrap moves. Someone in the stream mistook me for Harsha yesterday too. That is so funny. Uh, Luke shaking his head at the solve. He's he's still on edge pairing here. So Arne also predicts that uh, Harsha is first seed in second round and plus two is at a NAR. Luke Tixon, has have yeah. every one of his souls been close to plus twos? I think like, I, I, I only watched that one. Over, every time we've looked over, he's been close to a plus two. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but twenty-eight point seven. Uh, I mean, that looks to be a sub thirty average from him. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. Um, as of right now, making the second round, I gotta check because I I gotta see if I'm in there. Uh, <laughs> I got a thirty-five average, so uh, I think that should make it. I had not cubed, I had not done 4x4 in a long time, yeah. so my 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 results were probably basically the same that I would have gotten probably 2016. Yeah. A lot of people have not been entered in yet. So yeah, we'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll, but we'll, as of right now, I'm in 28th, so uh, comfortably in there right now. I think, I think a 35 average should be good for a uh, 4x4 round two. Um, as of right now, we've seen. Or at least at, in WCA Live, we've seen six sub-30 averages. Um, I don't think Chris Sun is here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think so. But uh, Chris Sun, also another very up-and-coming cuber. 6.1 official 3x3 average. Brandon, you should switch to Lynn for the memes. I, 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 I think at some point I pulled up the spreadsheet for Lynn, and I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, well... I guess that's the end of 4x4. Four four. Uh, we'll be taking a quick break for lunch. Um, and during lunch, we'll be showing some uh, multiple uh, footage since that ended up happening yesterday. Uh, so stay tuned during the stream and take a look at uh, the multi five footage that we'll be showing. Yes. See you after lunch. All right. Yes. Okay. We'll be, we'll be back at 2 p.m. Uh, for the 4x5. Four five five. Yes. So have a good right. lunch, everybody. See ya.
two by two is my best shot. So I don't know. Maybe I should try to learn full two or low in like a week. That'd be my bad idea. Um, you like two D's and all. From from what I know, um, people will say to learn EG one. EG one first. Yeah. It's more useful because if you think about it, see there's the cases like the layer building. Um, like you're more likely if you just make a side, you're more likely to have an EG1 layer than a CLL layer. Yeah, I've, um, I've actually thought that before, and then I think Calvin told me that was stupid, and I should have CLL first. Someone told me that. Oh, whoops. Mics are hot.
everyone, welcome back to North American Trams. I'm Brandon from Before Lunch, and this is Michael. I am Michael, and I'm here after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get started uh, with uh, 5x5. Five five. We're just starting the first group. Oh, and we already have people competing. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of interesting people to watch for 5x5. Five five. Of course, as you guys might have seen from earlier events, Kevin Hayes is here. Um, also, some household names like Bill Wang and uh, Patrick Ponce. They're yep. going to be highly competitive in this event. So hopefully yep. we'll be able to catch them. Yeah. Um, and just a quick reminder, uh, for cubing at home, we're, we have uh, 7x7 opened up. So if you're watching from home and you want to compete, uh, feel free to head on over to cubing at home and and sign up. And if you don't have the URL, if you're in the Twitch chat, you can use the compete command. So type in exclamation mark compete and you should be able to go to cubing at home and compete. Yeah, and when you open up the scrambles, just do your best and please make sure that you actually follow the scrambles correctly to the best of your ability. It is only fair for the other competitors that you do so. Yeah, yeah. I feel like for most of this part, like uh, especially the online competitions, a lot of it in the cubing community, the community is so small enough to where honor code will really, really go along. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You gotta have trust in the competitors. Yeah, so let's take a look at the 5 of 5. So we got Sean Hartman on the uh, left here for 5x5. Five five he, he got a haircut, Harder. you know? His hair is <laughs> a little bit different than it used to be. Yeah. Sean Hartman, if I'm not mistaken, from the uh, Southeast region, is that correct? Yes, yeah, from Florida. Yes. Uh, yeah. He is quite good at many of this. Let's see. So what I'm curious of seeing is the differences between the amount of people solving on uh, using Yao versus yeah. Yao. Yeah, so I noticed Yao, Yao has been Yao has been getting a lot of traction. I started using Yao myself. Uh, not that good at it, but still still improving on on getting those first three edges in there. And right. is, he, is he doing? You he seems to be doing. The classic redux where you're flipping between, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, something yeah, yeah. that's just not the most efficient that it looks, but it works. Yeah. All the top um, five of five redux stars. Yeah. Uh, hello, Royster Bar. How are you? And yes, it is me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Michael Chai. Yeah. The one and only. 54. Uh, 54. That's impressive. That's he pretty also good. Did a, was that a U-perm or an H-perm? I, I think it was a U-perm. I'm not, not, not exactly. All right. We've got Paul Mavi here on Mavi. the right. Paul Mavi, if I'm not mistaken, he is from uh, my area, the Bay Area, NorCal Kiever, but he is going for, I believe, like some sub-50 average. Yeah, Paul Mavi's pretty... Big favorite in this event. Uh, so let's see. Paul is a Redux solver, uh, and then he is definitely um, more so uh, a lot of TPS. Yeah. Lot of TPS. He, 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 he does the thing where he brings the. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll see what kind of commentary we can get here. Yes. Yeah. I already imagined some questions. <laughs> he is not color neutral. Uh, he does solve green and blue. Oh, interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, I don't know where it came from. A lot of people solve okay. green and blue. I don't know if it came from a tutorial. It's definitely like uh, in early 3x3 tutorials, they always start with green cross for some cross reason. Yeah. And then somehow that translates to color neutrality on big cubes. So, yeah, that, 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 that's probably why. But uh, I, I can't tell which step he's on. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, he's on 3x3 stage, I think. Seems like it, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh he's, this is close. Well, it's pretty good. Uh, that looked like he was going to get ready to finish. Yeah. It's 55. Okay. You know what? That'll, that'll, that'll do. That's fine. Yeah. Will Harris show. Yeah. Glad to see you here. Are you at this competition, Will Harris? I don't know if you are. If you are, you can say hi. How's everyone? Let's right. see. Daiko Cubics. Yes, that was Sean. That was Sean, indeed. Where's everyone? Where's everyone watching from? Amer North America? Not North America. <laughs> mm. All right. So the guy is that? Am I tripping or is that Ben? Is that, is that Ben? I he was Ben wearing that shirt. Was it Ben wearing that shirt? It might be. It might be Ben. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I think it might be. Although. Although I did not look too closely. I was trying to figure it out. I thought that was Ben. Yeah. Yeah. So. How's it going, Luke Solves Cubes? And then Sean Hartman's back up for another solve. And uh, the competitor on the right. I need to catch his name when he steps, uh, when he stands pretty up. But he is pretty fast. Not average. Looks like he's averaging a minute. 
So I'm gonna right cross. Mm -hmm. Whoa, M slices on big cubes. Yeah. Being pretty ambitious. Oh man. Like, I'm not that OG of a cuber. <laughs> no, not possible. <laughs> Back then. Maybe you gave it eight years ago. Yeah. Probably not possible. I was using the. People remember the Sheng Shao 5x5 back in the day. Yeah. Well, that was the, uh, better than the 6x6. Oh, yes, better than the 6x6. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so Sean's on edges right now. Benjamin Station 2! He is quite efficient. I, I, yeah. I like how calm he's solving it. Yeah. So, Michael, who's your, who's your uh, favorite to win? Five by five. Who's my favorite to win? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. I definitely have someone that I'm rooting for. Yeah. I'm, I'm rooting for, you know, the hometown hero, Paul Mm. Um, he's, mm. he's always around town. But um, there's, there's a lot of good competitors, but I'm pretty sure Patrick Woods is reasonably going to win. Yeah, I can see that. I'm, I'm rooting for Patrick, as always. Yeah. Like, that's that's going to have a pulled up there. So, in terms of the psych sheet, um, Bill Wayne has the fastest average that is here to and then Patrick Pock on oh, yeah, the second. Oh yeah, that is Ben. Yeah, that is definitely Ben. That's Ben. Yeah, that is Ben. Really rooting for Ben for uh, 6 and 7. Right. Ben, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was first place for both 6 and 7. Yeah. He is currently the favorite. Really fast. Yeah, so Becky, that is me. <laughs> Hello everyone, from the Twitch is here. Alright. Um, I could definitely say though, uh, Ben's 5x5 five five solves are in terms of like compared to everyone else, a little bit slower than 6 and 7. Yeah. In comparison. Mm -hmm. You got Mega PB. Congratulations. Congrats on the PB. <laughs> Alright, we got Paul Mobby back. Oh Paul Mobby was, Just uh, finishing up. Yeah. He's gonna right like at 55 that. right there. What's Paul Mobby's uh in, in, in comp PB. 51 is his uh, mm -hmm. competition PR. 51, 58. So he's gonna... It's not bad. And ben, oh, Ben with the 49. Oh, man. We barely oh, wow. missed it. But yeah. So, Kant, so beside me, this is Brandon Lynn. Hello. And I am Michael Chai. Uh, we are people you probably don't know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we... I, I... I still... We still... We still kill a little bit. Um... Are we yeah. Kyrie? But 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 we're hey there you go yeah uh, yeah we still have you I I I'm here and there uh, every now and then yeah is Lucas Edder still cubing I do not think so uh, uh, I don't think he's very active at the moment but I know he had an issue with uh, yeah yeah no he definitely had, he had a comeback after that but I don't know if nowadays uh, there's um, however we are going to bring on a special guest. To have a little interview with yeah. Brandon. Um, so today we're going to bring on Miss Katie Hull. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yes, come on. Let us make room. You should probably keep your mic. Yes. 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 Here. How's Thank it going, you. Katie? It's going well. How about you? Move Good. A little more. A little more? Yep. I think. Yeah, I can move back a little bit. And you, you, can, go. You, can, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Katie. How would you hold this? <laughs> Do you think this will work? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how this works. Chat, let us know if this is working. Let us know if the audio is good here or, you know, subpar. But, Katie, I think the first time I met you was at US Nats three years ago. But I haven't seen you since the pandemic. Yeah. So what you been up to these days, aside uh, from the normal cubing? Like, um, anything different? Not a whole lot. During the pandemic, I did a lot of FTO, as you know, since you hosted the uh, FTO tournament. Yeah. Uh, FTO, do you still practice it? Um, I wish I did, um, but I don't anymore. <laughs> With official comps back, I just I focus on official stuff now. Yeah, I guess we should probably shout out FTO real quick. Face turning <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very good event. But, yes. Um, we also wanted to ask you a little bit about um, your region. Because yes. Because we saw it, the Southeast region. Um, you guys are very active. You guys do a lot of cool stuff. And yes, I really do. wanted to ask you, like, how, how did you make the region and all the competitions like really fun and enjoyable where do you guys uh these ideas come from like, um you have competitions where clock is your main event yeah i think a lot of that can be attributed to jacob ambrose he has a lot of ridiculous ideas and they just somehow work um and that's 
a lot of the reason I think clock is so big in our region. We do a lot of competitions that are clock centric. Right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So I guess like in terms of this, in terms of competition, how, how have you done so far? I think we saw some of your four by four results. Yeah. Before. I, I did okay in four by four round one. I got seventh, I think, in the round. So I'm I'm happy with that. I was a little worried about not making round two. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I did. So I'm good. Yeah, how are you feeling about uh, big cubes? Um, nervous, but I um, I think I'll do fine. Okay. okay. Oh, I thought did you already you already finished competing in six, seven, and four, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. And I how have did six you do? finals. I have six finals later today, mm -hmm. and then I did decent in four by four. I've not done five by five yet. Right. Uh, five by five. Oh, are you coming up next then? Pretty soon. Yeah, I'm in the group in like two groups. All right, gotcha. So if you guys are watching right now, Katie's about to go. Uh, what are you averaging these days? Um, fifty four, fifty five, oh, around gotcha. that. I haven't been focusing on five by five specifically for this competition. I focus a little more on four by four and six by six. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, did you see Vish? How he won clock? Yeah, that's great. I'm really happy for him. He's one of my friends, so it's great to see people from the southeast winning with both Vishwa and Kerry. Yeah, so I think that's just a message to a lot of competition organizers, delegates. Mm -hmm. Like, you can really grow your region to however you want it to be. Mm -hmm. If you really like clock, you can make clock awesome, you know, mm -hmm. in, in any region that you want. So Vishwa, if you guys watched um, the, the test stream yesterday, he won clock and is the North American champ from the Southeast region. So, and he just, you know, grinded it. Just crazy. So mm -hmm. that's a tribute to you guys too. Yeah, and we're about to host the first competition with four rounds of clock ever later this month. Yes, yeah, so at Southeast Championship. Do you have a wait list already or should we shout it, shout it out? No, there, there's a long wait list. <laughs> so <laughs> if someone registers now, I don't think they'll get in. Got it, I'm amazed. How's, are, are, you, are, you, are you good at clock any at all or? Um, in any other region, I would be good at clock. In my region, I'm terrible at clock. Oh, I have a six I average, but that won't make finals at like most. That, that, and then I think yeah. in the northeast, that's uh, that's still pretty decent. Yeah, but yeah. in my region, that's like basic. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the last competition I went to, like the top 17 people or something like that, were sub eight. Oh, and it was wow. like a six-person final. Oh, it was wow. stupid. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, I think. I think different regions always have their different different specialized events that they mm -hmm. start mm -hmm. rating i think for example maryland it's always one it's been like one-handed for ages yeah um so yeah it's very interesting yeah. yeah oh you know what i don't think um we probably didn't mention this but you have uh you are a wca delegate i am and how long have you been a wca delegate um i became a candidate delegate in 2017 Ooh, and then a full delegate in 2018 that is an old word that is an outdated <laughs> term that is no longer used yeah yeah but, but it's true 2017 true. you said yeah 2017 oh gotcha so um candidate delegates were basically what the junior delegate is now guys um more or less because the wc introduced trainees which i think is a is a really good addition to the wca yeah absolutely yeah. cool so, so so there's there's three levels there delegates are. now yeah there are i think it, it has become standard for people to start out as trainees now. I see. However, when trainees were originally introduced, uh, you could initially go from uh, WCA member to junior delegate. Interesting. That was the intention at the time. Yeah. As an as a non delegate, I'm not very in, 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 informative in, informed of this stuff. So, <laughs> good to know. How many region delegate? How many delegates do you have in your region? Uh... This is going to be bad if I don't know this off the top of my head. Well, it's a good question because I think, you know, the regions with a lot of delegates, like, they tend to do really well mm -hmm. with just, like, having Five spread and everything, you know? I'm going to say we have four full delegates and three juniors. <laughs> I can name them. I just can't count, apparently. Yeah, no, that, I mean, I, I can think of a lot off the top of my mm -hmm. head, too, for sure. So you have three juniors as well? Yeah, we have Ray, Zach, and Jared. Really, Ray? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I did not know that. Yeah. Cool. That was within the past year, him and Zach. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I didn't really have anything else to ask, but I don't know if you had any follow-ups to that. Thank you for having me. Right. Appreciate it. Good luck on your 5x5 five five attempts. Thank you. And I will catch you. Pray for those sub-50s. Oh, yeah. I'd love that. <laughs> Thank you.
Simon Station is born. My summer has been great. I went to Boston for the Northeastern Championships and I went to Japan to just see my grandmother and we also had a cubing meet. And I've also been golfing a lot and I just started painting as well. Well, I don't really change my practice routine very much, whether it's a big competition or just a small one, but always I just, just do a bunch of solves basically and then when I feel when I feel like my solving is pretty good I ask my parents to do like competition simulations with me and that really helps. My goals for this comp are just to try my best in every every event and hopefully win three by three but mainly I'm just gonna use this competition it has a lot of rounds so I'm just going to use it as an opportunity to test some mental tricks that I've been using that I think will help me handle pressure better. And also I've been practicing um, big cubes a lot so I hope to podium in 3x3 three three through 7x7. Seven seven. Well uh, as with every comp I'm just excited to meet new people and also see my old friends but mainly I'm excited to just compete in this big event and see where I place. Well, I've been playing baseball since I was five years old and I recently picked up golf and I do landscape oil painting. I'm doing great. I'm nervous but excited for NAC uh, and I'm especially looking forward to seeing familiar faces and meeting new ones. I think I'm a little bit biased towards saying that square one will get to sub five first, but if I were to be more objective, I'd probably say three by three just because I know some of the best square one solvers in the world who still don't even have a sub five average at home yet. Uh, and I think overall there are just more contenders for sub 5 on 3x3. I have three main goals. Uh, number one, I'd like to make 3x3 finals. 
I know that I'm capable of it, but it's all going to come down to my mental game on the day. Uh, number two, I'd really like to make the podium for square one. And finally, I'd like to get a PR single in square one because I think it's pretty funny that I have a 502 average, but still only 476 singles, so yeah. Well, according to the psych sheet, top 16 is actually a 6.67 average. But because psych sheets go off of PRs, and also the fact that nerves are going to be a very prevalent thing for people in the semifinals, I'd have to guess maybe around 7.3 being the cutoff for finals. One interesting fact about myself is that I can speak just a little bit of French, uh, and also I'm a pretty big fan of Harry Potter. I'm actually going on the Warner Brothers studio tour in London later this summer, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm doing great. I'm nervous but excited for NAC uh, and I'm especially looking forward to seeing familiar faces and meeting new ones. I think I'm a little bit biased towards saying that square one will get to sub 5 first, but if I were to be more objective, I'd probably